Hey everybody, it's Axel here from Axel Azuli uh, uh, Entertainment here of episode 9 of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. Oh yeah. And you may be asking, Axel, what are we doing down here in the underground base? Well, one, I wanted to show you some uh, differences I made. I got the furnaces and the chest down there and an anvil. And I've also improved it a bit. Uh, I've still got my enchanting room. That was all in episode 6, I believe. I'm back and I brought automation. Uh, so, but that's not the real reason we're down here. I lied. So, uh, well, one other thing. You see all the things were gone, the item frames that I had? I had to take them down because they caused so much lag that I could only use have my render distance be 5 chunks. Any more than that, and my game would be like, it, it, it would have like one frame per second. I wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, so that uh, it was out of the question. But the real question of why we're here today: Do I need anything in here? Oh yes, I do. I need. Uh, where did I put it? Oh no, it's destroyed. I need to get a new one. Uh, so you may be asking, Axel, what are you doing? Uh, if you are Dracula, you'd be asking that because. You'd speak like that, kids, Dracula. And this joke is not very funny, is it? Yep, I'm a failure at life. Oh, I'm sad now. Uh, but, to the important things at hand. What are we doing today, you may ask? Well, I had been need... Oops, I'm out of iron in that chest. Let me go to my automated iron system. I've been using a crap ton of iron, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. Uh, well, I decided I needed a resource for building, and that resource is clay. Uh, and you may say, so what? Well, there are two ways to get clay. One, you can find a little bit of it in swamp biomes, and uh, that's all fine and dandy, as you may know. But uh, the real place to get clay is a mesa biome. And mesa biomes, they're made completely out of uh, clay, but they are extremely rare. They are super duper hard to find. You've got to work really hard if you hope to find one. So you may ask, Axel, now what is this all leading to? Well, you know how I have my slime farm over, over yonder in that direction? Uh, you may be asking, how did I find those two slime chunks right next to each other? Well, Actually, I used a website called chunkbase.com. You insert a seed into the website, and it can calculate where slime chunks are. But I it was researching, and I found it can do another thing. It can find many other things. It can find the biome, uh, biomes in a seed. So I typed in uh, uh, mesa biomes to see if there were any near my base. And uh, let me go into F3 mode. As you can see, our coordinates here of the base are about x equals, uh, well, the, uh, the normal amount of city, stranded city is about uh, negative 50 x by 300 z. Uh, and I was like, hmm, I bet that, I wonder if there's a mesa biome nearby. And I researched it. And do you want to know where it is? Well, a uh, nearest one that I could find. The nearest, uh, the nearest mesa biome that I could find was at x equals negative 13,000. Z equals negative 10,000. And at first, I was discouraged. And I thought to myself, what would a crazy person do? And I thought to myself, travel there. And you may be asking, how the freak are you going to do that? Well, I calculated it, and it's probably about like 30 miles in normal mile systems. Uh, so, how do you get to places faster? The Nether. Da -na -na. So I have spent this whole weekend, about a to uh, like uh, over six hours, of just mining through the Nether to get there. I needed to get by my calculations to get to the center of the biome should be uh, a negative one thousand three hundred. Uh, no, should be. I have my research right here. Uh, the Mesa biome should be at negative 1727x and negative 1272z. 
Uh, so I decided I'm going to go there. So I spent six hours building a mine. By the time I was done, all I, uh, even when I looked away from the computer, like all I saw was netherrack. There was so much netherrack. I literally got, uh, I almost got like miner's disease, like uh, miner's insanity, you know, uh, people in, how people in mines go insane. I literally got miner's insanity for a little while. That's why I had to skip videos or V-Days, because I had to recover from Miner's Insanity. Uh, but we're going to finally get there. Uh, I left because I didn't want any zombie pigmen spawning on my train track that goes about one-third of the way. So I'll have F3 mode on so you can see. But since this takes a crap ton of time to get there, uh, I will probably time lapse it after we go a little while. So as you can see right here in the coordinates, we're at negative 16x by 32z. And now you're going to see how far uh, we go. So I'm not going to start the time lapse just yet. Uh, I had something I was going to say. Uh, we'll ch keep watching the Z's and X's so you can see how far we get because this is going to be pretty cool. Actually, this whole railroad system, I built it like a month before because I wanted to build a base really far away from the spawn. But I realized, oh, I should just uh, continue this because it's going in the exact correct direction. So the parts that have railroad are the bad parts. And uh, this isn't even the beginning uh, and near the end. This is where I, uh, I told you I was trying to make a base away from a home away from home. So I decided to go in here. Uh, but this one, it spawned me right at the bottom of an ocean biome. And uh, the terrain around is actually really cool. I might have to make a base here. Uh, and overall, this takes me about nine minutes to get from my nether place all the way over there. So, I'm going to start the time lapse now, and go! Time lapse, 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 time, time lapse, time, time lapse, yeah! And we've made it to part one of our journey. This is my second attempt for a base away from base in the end of the railroad system. This one goes to a nice plains biome, uh, right next to a roofed forest biome. The roofed forest is really cool because you can see the big mushrooms off the mushroom island. So that's pretty sweet. And that's just part one. As you can see, we're quite far away from x equals negative 1727 uh, by z equals negative uh, 1272. So this is going to take a while and continue the time lapse now. And here we are. 
the nether portal that should take us to the uh, mesa biome. Now, I actually have not tested this because I wanted to test it on camera so you could see my reaction if it goes horribly wrong and my calculations were incorrect or sunk base was incorrect. But as you can see, this block right here is exactly at x equals negative 1727 and z is equal to negative 1272. And so this should work. I should be in a mesa biome. That's why I have a subbel. So you guys ready to test it? Oh, and by the way, it took me about 11 minutes to run all the way down here. So this should work, and I should have infinite clay. Let's see. OMG, 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 OMG. Ah! Is it going to work? OMG, please be a Mesa Biome, please be a Mesa Biome, please be a Mesa Biome. Please say that Chunk Base was correct. Don't let me down. <gasps> OMG, I did it. I made it. I'm in a Mesa Biome. Oh my gosh. I did it. Red Sand, Clay, Dead Bush. I killed a Dead Bush. Oh crap. I love Dead Bushes. Dead bushes, yes, cacti, red sand, hardened clay, colored hardened clay. It's all here. And this is all in vanilla survival mode. All of this done by me. I can't believe it. it isn't that insane? I would highly suggest doing chunk uh, checking out chunk base. This is totally worth digging for like six hours and nearly going insane. Oh, do you need a pickaxe to do oh you need a pickaxe to uh, mine hardened clay. So that was stupid of me for bringing along two subbles. Good thing I have another pickaxe. Oh <laughs> yeah, look at all this clay. I'm going to be so rich in hardened clay. People are going to be like, Axel, where did you get all that clay? And I'll be like, I made an 11 minute long running area that'll take you to a mesa biome thousands of blocks away. And as you can see, I'm at negative 13,800 by negative 10,100. Uh, this was an insane idea and it actually paid off for once. So, wow, I'm just gonna sit here for like half an hour and just get clay so I can have a bunch of clay at home. And I'll be like, oh yeah, you gonna mess with me? The only problem is it's not like, I don't, it's not like it's normal form. Uh, so, I don't want it in its colored form because I don't think you can recolor it. And it's not in its normal form, so it can't be used to make bricks, I believe. Which is pretty sad. Uh, I don't I don't think you can, but leave in the comments below if you actually can turn these into bricks somehow. Uh, that would be amazing. So, we might as well explore a little bit before I end off the episode. Uh, this is one of my favorite biomes in Minecraft. They're so beautiful. See all that red sand? It's such a cool looking block and all this clay. The yellow is my favorite color. So, a biome that has a lot of yellow in it, and oranges and reds, that's my cup of tea. Red, orange, and yellow are my three favorite colors. I'm going to have to set up, uh, I'm going to, next time I come out here, I'm going to set up a whole alternate base with, like, a, uh, this is going to be my uh, base away from base, at least for now. I'm going to have a bed, and a crafting table, and an ender chest, and, like, everything you'd ever freaking want in a mesa biome. Because, uh, that would just be swag-tastic. And yes, I just said swag-tastic. Oh, and there's sugar cane over there. So, I hear a zombie burning in the sunlight somewhere. I don't know where it is, but who cares? Uh, I might as well run around and show you guys the place a little bit more, because it's rare that you actually see a mesa biome in vanilla Minecraft. You know what I'm going to do when I'm uploading my videos? I'm going to send an email to Think Noodles. Uh, telling him about this place because he's been needing clay and stuff. He's gonna need it no longer need clay because he'll can he can come here. And here's kind of where it's uh, where it gets cut off by. I think this might be a river biome. I'm not sure. I think it's a river biome. Uh, yes, yeah, see all this. It's all about that clay, about that clay, about that clay. I'm gonna need a hidey hole because I didn't bring a bed because I'm kind of stupid because I completely forgot to bring a bed. How stupid of me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna have to put. I'm gonna have to eat some food so I don't starve to death. Wouldn't that be nice? La 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 la. And now I'm gonna go put some torches around my nether portal so I don't get murdered by a thousand evil mobs. And build a little house. Ah. Uh, so. Uh, I might as well survive a night here and let you guys check out the scenery before I end off this episode, since it's mostly just going to be one long uh, time lapse of me singing time lapse, time lapse, oh yeah, time lapse, time lapse, who doesn't like a time lapse, time lapse, uh, uh, and all I have in here, ooh, wait, I actually have an idea, I don't want to use the clay, and since I was just in the nether, it makes only sense. It only makes sense to make a little bitty house out of some leftover nether rack I had while making this mine because I ran out of inventory space and I hate wasting materials. So might as well make a little house of nether rack for now and replace it with wood at a later date. Don't kill me, mobs. I will. I hear them. Where are they? They're coming. They're somewhere. I'm scared. They could be anywhere. Huh, huh. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, a shiver just went down my spine. Oh, there's a skeleton. They, he could just suit me off this thing. And that would not be good. I hear them. This is scary. I'm probably just going to have to go and hide in the nether for now because I, I'm terrified of these creatures in Minecraft. The creatures of mine. I'm a wuss. You guys should know that I am a massive wuss. I don't know where they're coming from, but it's so loud. Can't you hear all that? Well, I don't have... Oh, my! No, no, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Run, 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 run. Oh. Run, run. They could come in through uh, the portal. Uh. So, obviously, I was a bit ill-prepared for this occasion. Uh, I'll have to fix this up later. And then it'll be awesome. Uh, my next episode, hopefully I'll have a base up here. I don't think I'll sell you it until it's really something marvelous because that'll just be a waste of time just running here and back. This is for my... When I need clay, I come here and collect the crap ton of clay. Then I never come back until I need more clay. So if you enjoyed this episode, how about you leave it a like, a thumbs up, if you will, a comment, and maybe if you really, really liked it, Subscribe and join the Axel Empire. So we can start pumping up the subscriber count island I showed in the last episode. Uh, uh, that would be really awesome. Until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye!